Incremental Greetings. I want to communicate why comparing Anki against Super Memo doesn't make sense. It is an absurd comparison. And as an expert, instead of going into details and the features, this and that, I will use a very simple analogy. So, for me, flashcards and a space repetition, which is what Anki has, for me will be the storage capacity. And I will compare the storage capacity of a wardrobe against the storage capacity of a Tesla car. And what? A Tesla? That is absurd. That's the point. I want to convey how absurd this comparison is. Because even if a Tesla is a car, if I want, I could just buy it and use it for as a wardrobe, just to store clothing. A very expensive and bulky wardrobe, but hey, there's a trunk, so I can just have clothing there. They have this in common. The same that Super Memo also have flashcards and a space repetition, among a plethora of features, like in a Tesla car, that will have the self-driving, the computer, artificial intelligence, the lighting, and all of that. But you may think that, oh, wait, 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 Anki, as an Anki user, that I only heard about Super Memo here and there, I have seen some pictures, screenshots here and there, I think that Super Memo is just another flasher app, right? That is about what should I use, Anki or Super Memo? And that is what you may think, and that is what I want to convey, that it's not, the, it's not the case. Swanky is not a Tesla car. So a common use of the trunk will be groceries. But hey, I'm not using Tesla as a car. I'm not going to drive it. So therefore, instead of groceries, I will have clothing. It will stay at home like a furniture. I will use a Tesla car as a furniture, like a wardrobe. And you can say, hey, wait a second, the Tesla car could have a second trunk at the front. So you have like an additional storage capacity. And remember what we have said, that the comparison, that the analogy is that the storage capacity is flashcards and a space repetition is what they have in common. Because Anki and Supermemo have flashcard, flashcards and a space repetition in common as well. So it can have even more space, more storage. You could interpret these as add-ons, that they could expand the, um, the features of Anki. Among by the way, you may think, hey, that's an add-on for incremental reading. Yes, they have the name of incremental reading. It's more or less trying to implement the concepts, but the flow is not incremental reading at all. It does not satisfy the minimum definition of incremental reading. But I'm not going to go into the details here. So reality is that Anki is not a Tesla. It's just a wardrobe. Remember that a wardrobe has a storage capacity and a storage capacity only. Doesn't have driving capacities, the, uh, the AI to self-drive, none of that. But A, hey, storage is all required. Remember that storage is space repetition and flashcards. Anki is just this. And Super Memo is the full-fledged Tesla car that has storage, the storage capacity, therefore flashcards and the space repetition and a lot more features and a huge array of features that comes from incremental reading. Because at the end of the day, even if we are comparing Super Memo and Anki, what we are comparing is what the software is implementing. Anki is just implementing space repetition with virtual flashcards. That's it. And Super Memo is implementing what is called incremental reading. And without going to details, it's the difference is that you have the entire learning process, unlike Anki. 
That means that as a user, hey, I have learning sources. I have this book, textbook, article, Wikipedia page, Reddit post, YouTube video, or pod podcast episode, whatever that is a source for learning purposes, or even a statement if you want. You have all of the process that to read this, to process this information, make sense, understand it, manage the information overflow, the priorities, blah, 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 a lot of features that I will not mention. But at the end of the day, once you have learned something, you will want to keep this in your memory. Therefore, you will make flashcards of that, of what you decide to remember. And this is when when Anki starts. So there's, in this comparison of Super Memo and Anki, there's only this overlap, that once I have learned something, then I want to keep this in my long-term memory. Therefore, I create the flashcard, and then this flashcard will be scheduled in the future to help me as a human keep this in my long-term memory. In Anki, you only have the flashcards. You may have the flashcards done manually, or by copy and pasting from other sources. You go through a book and do the flashcards on the side, or you may, you may do in a spreadsheet, spreadsheet and then import this in bulk, or perhaps you just use someone else's uh, decks and cards, so you don't create any card yourself. But the point is this, that you only have the storage capacity of the wardrobe space repetition, and flashcards. You don't have all of the learning process because in Super Memo, all of the learning process is within the app. Since the material that we mentioned, the source material until the flashcard and rehearsement, everything is inside Super Memo. Everything is part of the learning process, the incremental reading, the Tesla. So I have the driving, the computer that tells me the temperature, how close are other vehicles, help me to, and the lighting, all of those features. That the wardrobe is a static, it doesn't have, right? I hope I made clear enough how this comparison doesn't hold, doesn't make sense, um, because at the end of the day, you're comparing different softwares, different methodologies, and one is a subset of the other. And another thing I want to convey, that is the Super Memo Wiki page. It's user-based, it's not official. And in the year 2000, four years ago, there was one event called Humans of Super Memo. And what happened that I, did, I wrote that, and at that time, I only was four months in Super Memo. And that's the key, because unlike most, most people, I only thought about Super Memo as a flashcard app. A very old, the, ori the original, okay, but it's just a flashcard app. And that's not the case. And once I tried Super Memo for real, in this case for months, I realized that Super Memo is not a replacement for Anki. Because Anki is a space repetition only. I don't have incremental reading. Most of what I do in Super Memo, I cannot do it in Anki. Remember, it's just basically this. In Super Memo, what is you see in blue is what I can do in Anki. And all of the learning process that I can do in Super Memo, I cannot do it in Anki. Easy as that. Those are my two cents. Let me know your opinion and see you incrementally.